guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have a special Mustang that you're just not gonna find very often. It's this car right here. What is it? It's a 2008 Roush Mustang, a P51A. But before we get into this supercharged, maxed out horsepower Mustang, let's talk about what's going on here. Jack Roush. If you are a NASCAR fan, you have heard that name more than once. Believe it or not, Jack Roush actually tried to race cars professionally himself for a few years. Eventually, he discovered that being a team owner was the way to go. And what's fascinating is that Roush not only runs NASCAR teams, but also other forms of racing over the years, including Trans Am and sports car endurance racing. Now, what's fascinating is that back in 2008, we did have the rebirth of the mighty Shelby GT500. That nameplate came back to the what's known as the S197 platform Mustang in 2007. But Roush wanted to do things his way, wanted to bring more performance, but also another thing that a lot of people may not know about Jack Roush is that he is a pilot and loves to fly, especially classic World War II planes. And a lot of people always wonder, well, how did the Mustang name get attached with this vehicle? Was it about the actual horse or was it about the P-51 fighter plane known many as one of those dominating aircraft during World War II? But what I wanna find out is if you're looking for a Mustang, especially one that's on this S-197 platform, is the Roush P51A the best one to get? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this example and find out. Right off the bat, I hope you like the color combination because this is the only color offered on the P51A. It's called Viper Metallic and Olive Green Racing Stripe. And it's those colors specifically because those were the same colors used on the P51 fighter planes. Now what's fascinating is I said this car is rare. It's one of just 151 examples that were produced back in 2008. Now at the front of the business, I like the S197 platform because it really showcases the great body lines of the Mustang, uh, even more so than when we switched to the S550. But you'll notice going back just like to the 1965 all the way to 1970 Mustangs. They have that great classic shape to the headlight housing. Obviously with this being a 2008, we can't zonk it because that is not an LED headlight. We gotta keep it apples to apples comparison because of the year of this vehicle. Now, not only is it about extra horsepower and performance, but also Roush did suspension tuning. This has a Roush 3 suspension tune and also unique body work and other touches, which I'm gonna point out to you. As we drop down, this whole front bumper area is unique to this Roush P51A. You got your fog lamps down below, nice round fog lamps. I love the addition of the extra arrow. And what's wonderful is not only is this arrow there because it looks damn good, it's also functional. So we have actual extra venting and you'll notice the wire mesh in there for bringing cool air to all the inner bits. Now, as we come across the front, You'll notice that with the Roush Stage 3 suspension, this does sit a little bit lower. I love the way that the lower lip extends out and it's all that Viper metallic color. And then, of course, that iconic grill shape, Roush decided to do some specific touches. So what you're gonna find is, is you're gonna have these flat satin black horizontal bars. And if you notice this badge here, if you're wondering, what the heck is that? Is that like a McDonald's badge? Since it's red and yellow, no. That is the official squadron colors of the 357, the 357 fighter squ squadron colors. And the reason why Jack Roush wanted those colors on this vehicle is that they shot down more planes. They were the most successful fighter squadron of P-51s in the history of World War II. So it's nice to honor not only the plane, but also the pilots that we're behind the stick and uh, operating those things. Now, as we rise up onto that hood, you'll notice our olive green racing stripe and a massive hood scoop. The problem is it's fake. 
I'm not digging that whatsoever. I do like the way it says Roush Charge. That's kind of cool. But why Jack Roush? Why put a fake hood scoop on here? I guess you could use it as a pencil box, maybe a place to put the kids Legos, but you're not flowing any air through there. All it's gonna do is basically just catch the air. So not my favorite part of this P51A. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, why is it a P51A? Is it because Jack Roush loves apples? No, there was different variations of the P51 Mustang, A, B, C, so on and so forth. Obviously, if we're gonna honor the best, the way Jack Roush wanted to do it, he decided to go P51A, baby. Now, as we come around the bend, you're gonna have specific wheels and tires on this Roush Mustang. You'll notice simple five-spoke design, fully chrome. I'm not a big chrome guy. I would have liked to have seen this maybe as a satin steel color or a gunmetal metallic gray. Let me know how you feel about the chrome finish on the wheels. It is, though, an 18-inch wheel. Remember, it's 2008. 18 inch wheel, 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall. And you'll notice, like I said, with the suspension dropping it, it really gives it the perfect stance as it's sitting here still. And that's gonna also help with handling because he made sure to tune the shock absorbers the whole nine yards. Now, with the brake package, you do have Brembo's with the Roush name. They are larger than standard stock Mustang affair back then, but still, they're four piston calipers. They're not six, eight, 22 piston calipers, but this was the braking technology back then. You'll also notice how we have the two-piece rotor, aluminum hat, the hat is the black portion, and then you have your steel rotor there with those ridges, those grooves that help dissipate heat, along with it being two-piece, it helps dissipate heat as well, but cut, cutting down on rotating mass. But as we come down the side, I like the way you have that 357 Squadron, the 357 Roush on the hood. I don't have to tell you how much horsepower it has. It says it right there. And I love the way that it's all painted over. It's not just stuck on vinyl decals. Of course, on every Roush, you're gonna get the name across the windshield. And one thing to also know, the way that this Roush Mustang came to be is that Ford sent Mustang GTs, 2008 Mustang GTs, 151 of them, to Jack Roush and his team hand disassembled and hand assembled this vehicle. So it's all assembly by hand. Now you do have flat black on the mirror caps. I am gonna zonk that. There should be that vapor metallic on here. And I love the simple clean design. Thank God he did not add the extra vent back here. Like sometimes you find on a Roush Mustang or the new California Special Mustangs. So you have that nice cove but it doesn't have to be a fake vent. They did add the venting that covers the rear windows. It doesn't bother me as much. This is more obviously for style. What bothers me the most is that hood scoop. I'm gonna double zonk it, because every time I look at it, just what comes to my mind is zonk. So don't wanna be mean, but it's not functional. Dropping our way down, out back, we got more rubber to meet the road, 275s on the rear. You'll notice though, they don't give you nice Brembos on the back, they're just standard calipers that have been painted red, but they did change up the rotors, thank God. Coming around towards the rear, you're gonna get this massive trunk lid spoiler, almost like a rudder off a P51 Mustang turned sideways. Love the way this is a functional piece. You got your tri-bar taillights, that classic look. Of course, we have our simulated fuel filler cap with the P51A name and Roush stamped in. And then as we drop it down, you have Roush performance exhaust, slash cut, oval opening, nice chrome tips to match those wheels. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood on this P51A and see what the heck is powering. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Jack Roush does put his own hood struts, even with the brackets. Steven, show him those brackets there, custom made at the Roush facilities. And then of course, underneath the hood, we have that three valve, 4.6 liter V8 engine that produces plenty of horsepower stock. But let's talk about some of the additions. You do have that cone race inspired filter, open air box. We have that enlarged intake tube. Love the way it's got the carbon fiber. And look at the massive dual butterfly throttle body. And then we have the Roush 
TVS supercharger up top. But let's talk about actual numbers. And if you wanna know what number vehicle is this, it actually says it right here. You get this nice plate. This is number 70 of 151, and it's got the airbrush. There's the P51 Mustangs. Just to give you an idea of what those look like if you did not know what I was talking about. Now, 4.6 liter, three valve, 510 horsepower, 510 pound-feet of torque. Stock, it produced 300 horsepower. So we're looking at 210 more horsepower. It's got a five-speed manual, zero to 60, if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, 4.7 seconds, quarter mile, and 12.4 seconds. And like I said, you have the Roush Stage 3 suspension and that TVS Roush Charger intercooler. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, did they do anything to the bottom end of the engine? You better bet your bottom dollar. You're looking at an eight bolt forged crank, forged rods, and forged pistons. So you're getting all of that built equipment. You'll notice on the shock top mount here, you got that engine built by, chassis built by. You can see the suspension work that they've done at the top there, the enlarged fuel rails, all of that to produce the 510 horsepower, but also to beef up the engine internally to handle the extra power. But if you're ready, I'm ready. It's about that time. Let's fire up this P51A and hear what it sounds like. guys here we are inside this 2008 that Jack Roush P51A Mustang I know you're saying to yourself well Joe this thing is badass and I want one well the great news is you could win this one through dream giveaway garage and remember if you use the radius rides code and spend $25 or more you get double your giveaway chances of win and remember they do not pay me I don't accept any money for that they just want to help support the Radies Rides family members. But if you're wondering, well, back in 2008, how much did this cost? Here's the kicker. The modifications actually cost more than the Mustang itself. So you start off, this car started out life as a Mustang GT. That had an MSRP back in 2008 of $27,000. The modifications are around $34,000. So put the two together and that's where you get the price tag of over $50,000 back in 2008 for this vehicle. But let's see what you get because I want you to win it to the door panels. Clean style. You have that perforated leather material or what looks like leather, keeping it clean. There is a little bit of carbon fiber around the door handle. I don't know, to me it kind of looks a little cheap even though it is real carbon fiber but it just, I wish there was a little bit more on the door panel. Now, on the switch gear, there is more carbon fiber, which helps balance it out a little bit. Armrest was made by Rubbermaid. It's hard as Plymouth Rock. And then the door pocket, you're gonna have to, if you get a hot dog from Costco, you're gonna have to put it in there without the bun, which is not gonna be a lot of fun. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, look at this, Jack Roush sign, that's how he always does it. Good old US of A. We do have carbon fiber around the air vents, and it is real carbon fiber, so that's a good plus. You slide on in, you got two more AC vents, and then this is what your infotainment system was back in 2008. It's what's called a radio and CD player. So it's actual six disc CD changer, the Shaker 500, because it's 500 watts, and this is what the technology was radio-wise back in 2008. You got your standard AC controls. Everything works in here. The car's got 1,400 miles. More carbon fiber. Thank you, Jack Roush, for putting it here. And then check this bad boy out. We have a Roush-branded shift knob and a short-throw shifter. Even the shift lever has the Roush name on it. Real nice short throws. Look at this. This is first. That's second. That's like race car short throw shifter right there. Feels really good. Two cup holders. 
E-brake is mechanical. It's just crazy how far, it almost smacks me in the face. So this is a little too high for me, but it is what it is. That rubber main material not feeling really great. Open it up. You got enough room in there. I would say, hmm, for five of Jack's balls. And no, we're talking about Jack loves to play golf. You have five autographed Jack Roush golf balls you could put in there. And there's an aux jack. And there's a little slot for game tokens at your favorite arcade. Seats, the leather, the Alcantara material. I love the way they did the P51A name with the 357 Squadron colors. Nice bolstering. It is manual controls for the passenger. And I have electric assist for the driver. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make this seat move so Steven could show off the back seat. And they did the back seat just like the front seats with the nice Alcantara material. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I wanna show you where Jack Roush's name is and what's behind the wheel. Come on over. All right, guys, here we are, business time behind the wheel. I love the Roush nameplate, looking really good. Deep down in that pedal box, awesome pedal set up by Roush. You have your throttle, aluminum brake pedal, and clutch pedal, and guess what? It's perfect for a heel, toe, downshifting. And I like the way they put the aluminum on the dead pedal. This is what I always talk about in cars. Give me some aluminum dead pedal, for God's sakes. We do have a little bit of a combo deal with our electric seats on the bottom and lower lumbar. The Zonk is manual backs. I hate when they're electric on the bottom and the manual backs. It makes no sense to me. Steering wheel, I wish Jack Roush would have thrown his magic at this. The rim is on the thin side and this just, it looks too much like the standard Mustang. Give me a race inspired. Pluck one of the wheels out of your cup cars or something to have in here. And then the gauges, they did a great job. You have the Jack Roush name in the center, all white face gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and cooling gauge. That's all you need. I'm not showing you the trunk because who gives a damn? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this Roush Charge P51A. All right, guys, we are inside this Roush Mustang P51A and we are having a special experience. Remember, this is one of just 151 ever produced. And really, this, the, the booming sound of that V8 is just phenomenal, but we gotta do it. Second gear, oh, throw, here we go. Yeah! Really interesting what was going on back in 2008 with this Mustang and the changes that Jack Roush made. <laughs> Love the sound of that freaking engine. The one zonk that I have from the driving experience is I wish that they had more supercharger wine. That's the one thing that's letting me down a little bit, but definitely that booming V8 has never sound better with that exhaust on this Roush Mustang. Brakes feel good. Would like to see some Brembo's on the rear though. And I'm telling you, this short throw Roush shifter, you gotta be precise and spot on the money to make it work. But here we go, our throttle. Nice. Really, really nice how with that horsepower, you're getting that great amount of boost and torque, the whole shabam, because it's not just more horsepower, there's also more torque than your standard Mustang GT from 2008. Seats, they're comfy, they're just not gonna hold you in very well, so that would have been another thing I would have liked to have seen Roush change out and put a little bit more race sport performance in the seats. Gauges are simple and clear, and visibility in this thing is phenomenal. But let's see how she handles through the twisty bits, down into third, on those brakes. Obviously, comparing it to a new Mustang, it's, it's not gonna be a fair competition. Because with the newer suspension technology, tire technology, brake technology, Things have moved on since 2008. It's crazy to think that that's 15 years ago. But with that being said, 
it's nice to appreciate what was being done back in 2008, especially if you were lucky enough and had deep enough pockets to buy one of these P51A Roush Mustangs. And yes, Roush made plenty of other trim Mustang, Roush Mustangs as well. It's just the P51A is very particular to him because of his love for the P51A fighter plane. I love seeing the back of the hood scoop. The one thing I don't love is that it's fake. So that, that to me is a little bit of a bummer, but on throttle, smoke them if you got them. Nice. It's interesting as well to remember that in 2008, the S197 Mustang had a solid rear axle, no independent rear suspension. And also very interesting that this has a five speed, not a six speed manual, but I am very, very happy that it's a manual transmission. That's for sure. On throttle, here we go. All the way up to 6,000 RPM. On the brakes. Nice heel toe downshifting. It's crazy how you get the 6,000 RPM very, very quickly in this car and then you gotta shift. It's all down to the gearing, not only in the rear dip, but also in the way the transmission is geared. But it's nice to see that on this particular model, Roush did not leave any stone unturned. But definitely a very, very special car, let alone a very special Mustang. I just love the sound of that V8 in this five-speed manual. It gets a little, get, it takes a little time to get used to because it really is a notchy race-inspired shift style. But once you get used to it, it really is not too crazy. But the throws are so short, much shorter than a Tremec six-speed like in my Shelby, that's for sure. But it just feels good to be in such a special car. And of course, to be able to share it with you. I mean, that's another nice thing. But for being 15 years old, still running strong, Love looking in the rear view mirror and seeing that big, huge spoiler that's on the trunk. One more time, on throttle. Here we go. <laughs> Are there faster cars out there? Sure. But this car has a lot of special touches, not only with the aesthetics, but also the sound, the way it drives, and that connection with Jack Roush and everything that he is about when it comes to cars and performance. But hopefully this has been a good overall review for you. I'm gonna go ahead, get back to where it all started, so I'll see you in a Mustang minute. Yeah, it's been one hell of a day with this Roush P51A Mustang. Definitely wanna thank Lori, Ryan, and the rest of the crew over at Dream Giveaway Garage for getting us access to this vehicle. Let me know what you think. Is this, if you're looking for a special Mustang, a Mustang that's got a little bit more than what the ordinary horse has. And is it something that you're wanting that you're just not gonna see very regularly at your local cars and coffee event? Is this the one or are you gonna go with something different? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man who actually has ridden a wild Mustang he actually broke the Mustang, it was wild, tamed it, and now he has it on a local ranch here in Florida, Stephen Flood. Nobody knew that he was a cowboy, but he is through and through. Show him some love in that comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.